Hello and welcome to Ag Dealer TV. I'm your host this week, Scott Garvey. If you've been following along in our video series over the past few months, you'll notice we've been focusing a lot on sprayers. Here at the Ag in Motion Farm Show, had a chance to look over a few more. This time, we're gonna take a look at the Apache brand. Here on the grounds of the Ag in Motion 2023 Farm Show, Apache is displaying their sprayer offerings. So Johan Badenhorst, you're the regional manager for Ap Apache Sprayers here in Western Canada. Tell me about some of the features that you're offering in the Apache in the Apache line. Yeah, so the Apache, the main thing about it is mechanical drive, right? So we are the only mechanical drive sprayer left in the market. Uh, being mechanical drive, it makes for a much simpler and more reliable sprayer um, than the hydrostatic uh, competition that we're against. Uh, the mechanical drive, so we have a common 6.7 with 300 horsepower up front uh, through a power shift ZF transmission, it's a okay. six speed transmission, okay. into a JCB differential and J JCB uh, drop boxes. So the sprayer being mechanical drive, all that horsepower that you have up front is all available to the ground. You don't lose it through a hydro hydraulic drive system like most of the other guys do. Right. Um, so it makes for a very light sprayer. Um, fully loaded, we weigh less than most of the other competition empty. So a lot less compaction. Um, we do not get stuck that easily because we're so much lighter. Right. It's um, a two-wheel drive design, right? Two-wheel drive design because of the mechanical drive. And we have a 70-30 weight distribution. So having all our weight and all our power at the back of the machine uh, makes for a very reliable and um, good sprayer in the, in the wet or in, especially in the hills. We do extremely well. So tell me about the digital aspect of this. What, right. what guidance systems are you using? What so we're offering two guidance systems at the moment. Uh, our main is the Raven Viper 4. Okay. Um, so with the Raven Viper 4, you can have the Hawkeye Pulse Swift system. That is the individual nozzle controls that pulses and increases and decreases and keep your pressure constant as you speed up or slow down around sloughs and so on. Um, the other option we have at the moment is Ag Leader. Uh, with the same options, we can have App Capstan as Pulse with or um, the Hawkeye system through it. Um, so both of them very capable, well proven uh, ele electronics for this for the sprayer. So I imagine if you're offering a Raven, a Raven system, then you can get slingshot for data transfer. Yes, both of the system have both the Ag Leader as well as the the Raven system has slingshot. So remote control, road, remote into the machine. So if a, if a farmer is down or has a problem in the field, uh, anybody from anywhere in the world can help them connect through a computer into their sprayer and give them a hand and get them going again. So a farm manager could could remote in then and, and, and keep, see Keep see an what's eye on this operator as well, yes. And uh, in terms of job transfers, can that be done uh, electronically? Yes, through? so you can, through the slingshot system, for example, you can run multiple sprayers. They can share coverage. Uh, lines and so on so that you can have more than one sprayer in the same field and where sprayer one has sprayed sprayer two will not spray when it goes over that same coverage uh, coverage area uh, so yes uh, that is all connected how many different models of sprayers are you offering so we offer in canada the thousand gallon machine which is our 1050 um, and then the 1200 gallon machine the 1250 so in each one there is two um, power options so i so a 300 horsepower engine or a 260 horsepower uh, which is the same common 67 just detuned a little bit right um, and then the boom options we have 100 foot steel 100 foot aluminum uh, 120 aluminum and 132 foot aluminum and those boom options are available to all the machines so even a thousand gallon can put a 132, for example. So the buyer can specify the standards he needs he, for his operation. It's, it's, uh, exactly how he needs it for his farm. Yeah. Yes. The sprayer is very reliable. Um, because we drive it completely different, you, th you, th you can think a little more like you drive it more like a semi. You gear up and your RPMs comes down. So where a hydrostatic sprayer, for example, will be running uh, 2200 RPMs at least all day long to keep the hydraulic drive system happy. We don't have that problem. 
If you're on a flat field, you could be doing 15, 1600 RPMs all day long, which makes for a quieter cab and a lot less fuel usage, so uh, better fuel consumption right. on, on our sprayers because of the same engine just running a yeah. lot lower RPMs. With the cost of fuel these days, that's a big bonus. A big bonus, yes. Yeah. Well, that's it for this episode. Be sure to check back again here at Egg Dealer TV for more news and information on the egg machinery world. Thanks for watching.